How do you each feel connected to this album individually? I think this is the first time that we know what we want and we know the band that we want to be and the message that we want to portray and the people that we want to be mm -hmm. and this definitely comes out on this record because we didn't fight about anything, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I always have the scoreboard There's little stuff. arguments, but yeah, but like we everyone on the same knew page. it was on the same goal and we knew what the, the album was going to be, mm -hmm. which is which didn't happen last which time. It never happened before. And we kind of knew how to get it this time. I feel personally connected to the album, I think, because the lyrics are super <coughs> personal and honest and I didn't really try to cover anything up this time. I, I think... The two years of the writing process were, were two years of a lot of new experiences, um, both positive and negative, but that's sort of natural. Like, I think there was just some challenges that we'd never faced before. And um, yeah, things I'd never dealt with until that time. And I wrote about them and it was really refreshing to um, sort of learn about that side of myself mm -hmm. as well. And at, at the same time, the band was learning a lot about ourselves as well. A lot of self-realization. definitely like growing, yeah, <laughs> the next stage of growing up, really, mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, that's awesome. Is there anything in particular that you're excited for fans to hear and then you get their reaction? Because I know as soon as you release anything, you get an immediate reaction on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever you have so like connection mm -hmm. to them. Is there anything specifically that you're anxious for them to hear and then see what they think of it? Or I'm anxious to hear the record as a whole mm -hmm. um, and for them to kind of feel I think this is like definitely like a really emotional um, album and I guess we didn't really mean it to be like that but it definitely turned out like that. It is just so much of us in, in everything on that mm. and we want people to kind of interpret it as, as they want to because that's what music is but mm -hmm. it's definitely like all of ourselves in, mm -hmm. in an album so yeah. I think hearing fans, it as a whole, yeah. Yeah, I think fans will be surprised to hear the um, the dynamics um, and the, the way that the album is quite versatile in the sense that um, I th this happened with a data remember a couple of years ago and in our opinion um, sort of on maybe homesick or maybe yeah I think homesick like the heavier parts got heavier and the poppier parts got poppier mm -hmm. and um, they just solidified what they were good at and I think that's what happened with us on this record as well like I think fans will be surprised to hear the darker songs or the lighter songs mm -hmm. It's a nice contrast. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you wrote that you're like a little shy about that people are going to hear it, or is it out there and you're just ready and it um, is what it is? I don't I, think you are. I'm not. I think because, <laughs> um, because I had to accept a lot of things, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, the, especially with the recording process, it was quite emotional for me because. It's one thing to write something, but it's one thing to record it and then finish it and say it's done, mm -hmm. that part of my life is over, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm putting it away. And by choice and because I'm ready to, not, not because you feel forced. So I'm excited for fans, yeah, to learn a different side of the band through those, those kind of songs. Yeah. That's awesome. I think that's a massive thing with this record as well. Everything is just completely natural and real. Like we didn't aim to do a, like a specific genre or a sp like aim to do yeah. anything like another band. We just did it as naturally as it came and what we thought it should be. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's what I think is great because we didn't do it to be like, oh, these fans will like this song and, and those guys that are into that scene will like this song. We just did it and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely so. just wrote songs. We didn't, <laughs> yeah, we didn't like be like, we want this to be a pop punk yeah. album, we want this to be a rock album. Was, yeah. We there just was... wrote songs that yeah. were happening to us at that time and, and it kind of somehow came together at the end and it's definitely very synergistic, I think. Yeah, you know? just to finish it off, that to finish this answer off, our label was kind of concerned that we um, there wasn't a pop punk song on the record. I do believe there is, it's called The Fire. Mm -hmm. um, and that is definitely a pop punk song, but there's songs like Sure As Hell and even our cover of Little Lion Man that um, I guess we moved away from, but only in a way to improve on it. Just mm -hmm. we didn't want to stay in the same place. And our label was concerned about that, but I think we've definitely gained a lot. I don't think we've, we've lost anything. No, not at all. Yeah.